Belonging to the parody family, chickadees are tiny birds of North America that many people are familiar with. During the breeding season, roughly between April and July, these birds live with just their mate on a territory as a monogamous pair. When the non-breeding season arrives, however, usually between late August to March, chickadees live in flocks of both sexes and mixed ages. Unlike other birds of similar size, they are quite smart and have some pretty interesting behaviors, some of which can be seen right in your own backyard. If you've hand-fed a flock of these little birds before or watched them at your feeder, you may have seen individual birds doing a pretty comical looking thing. Ruffling their breast and back feathers while extending their wings and spreading their primaries when another chickadee is close. It seems that all chickadee species do this little weird thing. However, I've been unsuccessful with seeing it in boreal species. I have only ever seen it with the black cats, maybe because they are so dominant and plentiful compared to the boreal. The display lasts only one to two seconds, so there's not much time to view it, let alone record it on video. Therefore, I had to either record the behavior in slow motion or slow down normal videos in order to allow you to take in what the display looks like. This cute, albeit odd, behavior is known by researchers as body ruffling display. I know it looks very similar to when they fluff up their feathers when cold, but that's not what this is. It's clearly different from that. So you may be wondering what's going on. Why are the chickadees doing that? Researchers wondered too and tested two hypotheses. One, that it was involved in pair formation in juveniles as well as adults, or two, it was associated with aggressive behavior among flock members. As the researchers studied the body ruffling display of a population of chickadees, they were able to see that it is given only in close range encounters and is more frequently done by juvenile birds than adults and more so in males than females, but females do it too, just not as frequently. If this display is associated with aggressiveness or dominance, then it makes sense that young males would use it more so since males tend to be more dominant. Older birds, especially a mated pair though, may not need to do this as much, because usually in a chickadee flock, the mated pair is highest up on the hierarchy on a specific territory, all the other birds are normally juveniles just starting out who haven't acquired their own area. So basically, they get to live with the experienced pair on the territory over fall and winter, which helps increase their chances of survival since there are more eyes on lookout for danger and for finding food sources. Younger birds may not try dominating an older experienced pair, especially not the alpha male. Although it is done much more so in juvenile birds, adult chickadees from neighboring territories use it to each other too when they encounter one another. I've seen that many times, especially in fall when they are trying to take advantage of the same food source, usually me feeding them by hand. It really seems that the body ruffling display has something to do with gaining access to a food source, but as I mentioned earlier, it was also speculated that the display could be used for a form of pair bonding. However, that didn't seem to hold any water. It turned out that the display was given less frequently rather than more frequently toward the eventual mate of the displayer. So it obviously had nothing to do with pair formation. The researchers found that the body ruffling display was more frequent when there was an increase in the number of new chickadees visiting the feeders they had set up for the study. This seems to suggest that chickadees use the display to help keep their distance from one another as they claim first dibs on a food source. It's almost as if it's a way of keeping order in what could be chaos, especially if there are several chickadees at one food source. The ones giving the display most often prevents another chickadee from grabbing a seed before they get to, allowing the displayer to get the best pickings. It's an interesting way in which chickadees communicate to one another without having to waste energy in an actual fight. The body ruffling display also allows them to, I guess in a sense, get to know who is who within a flock, who to stay away from, and who they can dominate when trying to get the best food available. 
Chickadees are certainly fascinating little birds. Have you ever seen this display before? What's your thoughts on it? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed. Take care. Happy birding.